You can really go down a deep rabbit hole if you read about ice ages. I know this sounds crazy. At one point, some people are like, what's going on with Antarctica? In the remote and desolate expanse of Antarctica, something strange is happening. Hours and hours every day in just whiteness. Yeah. Just snow and nothing but on snowmobile. A sudden cataclysmic drop in climate. The cold, it gets incredibly cold. To me, the obvious answer is we are dealing with the fingerprints of the lost civilization that mapped the world and that left evidence of that mapping, which ancient map makers found and used and incorporated into their maps. A place known for its icy wastelands and extreme isolation is now at the center of a mystery involving some of the world's most powerful and wealthy individuals. I think the best evidence for it is ancient maps, uh, which show the world as it looked during the last ice age. I think we're getting very close close to rediscovering some of the things that um, our ancient ancestors were up to. The presence of Antarctica on ancient maps, because we didn't discover it until 1820, and yet it's on maps drawn in the 1500s with great detail. Why are billionaires secretly gathering in this frozen frontier? Dad, there's a state trooper over here and wanted to talk to you, and they found these sawed bones, a few of them. We got 15 of them now that they found. And that's where they say Eisenhower made a deal with these aliens. These maps were largely based on much older source maps, which they copied. And we can say that for sure, because one of the famous maps is the Piri Reis map, which was created by a Turkish admiral called Piri Reis in the year 1513. Antarctica, the world's southernmost continent, has always been shrouded in mystery and intrigue. A land of perpetual ice and snow, where the sun doesn't rise for months during winter and never sets in the summer. It is a place that seems almost alien to the rest of our planet. Despite its harsh and unforgiving environment, Antarctica has become the subject of intense interest, not just from scientists and researchers, but also from some of the world's wealthiest and most powerful individuals. In recent years, reports have surfaced, suggesting that billionaires from around the globe have been secretly meeting in Antarctica. These meetings, held in one of the most remote and inhospitable places on Earth, have sparked a flurry of speculation and conspiracy theories. What could possibly draw the world's elite to this frozen wasteland? What secrets does Antarctica hold that could warrant such clandestine gatherings? And more importantly, what could these meetings mean for the future of humanity? In this video, we will delve deep into the mysteries surrounding these secretive meetings in Antarctica. We will explore the possible motivations behind these gatherings, examine the history and significance of Antarctica, and consider the various theories that have emerged to explain why billionaires might be converging on this isolated continent. From hidden ancient civilizations to cutting-edge scientific research and from strategic geopolitical interests, to potential preparations for a post-apocalyptic world, the possibilities are as vast as they are unsettling. The Enigma of Antarctica To understand why Antarctica might be the site of secret meetings involving billionaires, we must first appreciate the unique nature of the continent itself. Antarctica is the coldest, driest, and windiest continent on Earth with temperatures that can plummet to minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 89.2 degrees Celsius in the winter. It is also the most isolated, with no permanent human population and only a few thousand scientists and support staff living there, temporarily at research stations. Despite its extreme conditions, Antarctica has long captured the imagination of explorers, scientists, and writers. Its sheer size, covering an area of about 5.5 million square miles, 14 million square kilometers, and its virtually untouched environment make it one of the last truly wild places on Earth. The continent is also home to some of the most significant scientific discoveries of the modern era, including evidence of ancient climate changes, meteorites from other planets, and even microorganisms that thrive in its icy waters. But Antarctica's allure goes beyond its scientific significance. For centuries, it has been the subject of myths, legends, and speculation. Some believe that it could be the location of a lost ancient civilization, perhaps even the legendary Atlantis. Others suggest that Antarctica's vast unexplored interior 
might hide secrets that could change our understanding of history, science, and the world itself. In recent years, Antarctica has also become a focal point for conspiracy theories, particularly those involving secret government projects, hidden underground bases, and extraterrestrial activity. The continent's remote location and restricted access make it the perfect setting for such theories, and the mysterious nature of the billionaire meetings has only added fuel to the fire. The billionaire connection? The idea that billionaires are secretly meeting in Antarctica might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but there have been numerous reports and rumors to suggest that these meetings are actually taking place. According to some sources, these gatherings have involved some of the world's most powerful and influential individuals, including tech moguls, business tycoons, and even politicians. One of the most prominent figures reportedly involved in these meetings is Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. Musk is known for his ambitious plans to colonize Mars, and his interest in cutting-edge technologies like artificial intelligence and renewable energy. His involvement in secretive meetings in Antarctica has led to speculation that these gatherings could be related to advanced scientific research or even preparations for off-world colonization. Now, another billionaire rumored to have attended these meetings is Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and Blue Origin. Bezos has also expressed a keen interest in space exploration and has invested heavily in technologies that could potentially revolutionize the way we live and work. His presence in Antarctica has raised questions about whether these meetings could be connected to efforts to develop new technologies or to prepare for future global challenges. But Musk and Bezos are not the only billionaires linked to these secretive gatherings. Other wealthy individuals, including Bill Gates, Richard Branson, and even members of royal families, have been rumored to participate. The presence of such a diverse group of powerful individuals has led to speculation that these meetings could be about more than just business or scientific research. Some believe that they could be part of a larger, more coordinated effort to shape the future of humanity. Theories and Speculation Given the lack of concrete information about these meetings, it's no surprise that a wide range of theories have emerged to explain what might be happening in Antarctica. Some of these theories are more plausible than others, but all of them reflect the deep sense of curiosity and unease that surrounds the idea of billionaires secretly convening in one of the most remote places on Earth. 1. Advanced Scientific Research One of the most straightforward explanations for these meetings is that they are related to advanced scientific research. Antarctica is home to some of the world's most important research stations, where scientists study everything from climate change to astronomy to microbiology. The continent's extreme conditions make it an ideal location for certain types of experiments that would be difficult or impossible to conduct elsewhere. For example, Antarctica's dry, cold environment is similar to the conditions on Mars, making it a valuable testing ground for technologies that could be used in future missions to the Red Planet. Additionally, the continent's isolation and lack of light pollution make it an excellent location for astronomical observations, particularly for studying phenomena like cosmic microwave background radiation and neutrinos. It's possible that the billionaire meetings in Antarctica are connected to these types of scientific endeavors. Given their wealth and resources, these individuals could be funding or even directly participating in cutting-edge research that has the potential to change the world. Whether it's developing new technologies for space exploration, studying the impacts of climate change, or searching for signs of extraterrestrial life, the possibilities are both exciting and daunting. 2. Strategic Geopolitical Interests Another theory is that these meetings are related to strategic geopolitical interests. Antarctica is governed by the Antarctic Treaty, an international agreement that prohibits military activity, mineral mining, and nuclear testing on the continent. The treaty also ensures that Antarctica is used only for peaceful purposes and scientific research. However, the treaty is not set in stone, and there have been ongoing discussions about its future. Some countries, particularly those with territorial claims in Antarctica, have expressed interest in revising the treaty to allow for greater economic exploitation of the continent's resources. These resources include vast reserves of oil, 
gas, and minerals, as well as valuable fisheries and freshwater supplies. It's possible that the billionaire meetings are connected to these geopolitical interests. The world's wealthiest individuals could be positioning themselves to gain influence or control over Antarctica's resources in the event that the treaty is revised. This could involve forming alliances with governments, funding research to support territorial claims, or even lobbying for changes to international law. If this theory is correct, the implications could be far-reaching. Control over Antarctica's resources could give these billionaires unprecedented power and influence on the global stage. It could also lead to increased tensions between nations, particularly if the continent becomes a battleground for competing interests. 3. Preparation for Global Catastrophe Another theory that has gained traction in recent years is that these meetings are part of preparations for a global catastrophe. The idea is that the world's elite are aware of an impending disaster, whether it's climate change, a pandemic, a nuclear war, or something else entirely, and are making plans to ensure their survival. Antarctica, with its remote location and harsh environment, could be seen as an ideal refuge in the event of a global catastrophe. The continent is isolated from the rest of the world, making it difficult for any threats to reach it. It also has abundant freshwater supplies and vast areas of land that could potentially be used for agriculture or other forms of self-sufficiency. Some conspiracy theorists believe that the billionaire meetings in Antarctica are part of a larger effort to build a doomsday refuge on the continent. This refuge could be a network of underground bunkers, research facilities, and self-sustaining communities designed to weather any disaster that might befall the rest of the world. While this theory might sound far-fetched, it's worth noting that some of the world's wealthiest individuals have already invested in doomsday bunkers and other forms of disaster preparedness. For example, there are reports that Silicon Valley billionaires have purchased large tracts of land in New Zealand and built underground bunkers to protect themselves in the event of a global crisis. If these reports are accurate, it's not too much of a stretch to imagine that similar preparations could be taking place in Antarctica. 4. Ancient Secrets and Lost Civilizations One of the more speculative theories about the billionaire meetings in Antarctica involves the idea that the continent is home to ancient secrets or lost civilizations. According to this theory, Antarctica was once home to an advanced civilization that predates recorded history. This civilization could have been destroyed by a cataclysmic event, such as a shift in the Earth's poles or a massive volcanic eruption, leaving behind only ruins buried beneath the ice. Some proponents of this theory believe that the billionaire meetings are connected to efforts to uncover and explore these ancient ruins. The idea is that these individuals are funding or participating in archaeological expeditions to uncover the remains of this lost civilization and possibly even recover advanced technologies or knowledge that has been hidden for millennia. This theory is often linked to the work of alternative historians and researchers, such as Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson, who have argued that there is evidence of advanced civilizations that existed long before the rise of known ancient cultures like the Egyptians and Sumerians. They suggest that these civilizations may have been destroyed by cataclysmic events, such as the end of the last ice age, and that their knowledge and technology could still be buried beneath the ice in Antarctica. While this theory is highly speculative and lacks solid evidence, it has captured the imagination of many people. The idea that Antarctica could hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of our past and possibly even provide us with advanced knowledge that could shape our future is both thrilling and unsettling. 5. Extraterrestrial Connections Finally, there is the theory that the billionaire meetings in Antarctica are connected to extraterrestrial activity. According to this theory, Antarctica is home to alien bases or technology that has been hidden from the public for decades. Some believe that the continent's remote location and harsh environment make it an ideal place for extraterrestrial beings to establish a presence on Earth without being detected. Proponents of this theory often point to the work of researchers like Linda Moulton Howe, who has reported on alleged whistleblower accounts of secret government projects involving extraterrestrial beings in Antarctica. 
These accounts suggest that there are underground bases or structures on the continent that contain advanced alien technology or even living extraterrestrial beings. The idea that billionaires might be meeting in Antarctica to gain access to or study this technology is certainly intriguing. If true, it could explain why such powerful and influential individuals would be drawn to such a remote and inhospitable place. It could also suggest that these individuals are involved in efforts to reverse engineer alien technology or to make contact with extraterrestrial beings. While there is no concrete evidence to support this theory, it remains a popular topic of discussion among conspiracy theorists and UFO enthusiasts. The combination of Antarctica's mysterious nature and the secrecy surrounding the billionaire meetings makes it a fertile ground for speculation about extraterrestrial connections. The idea that billionaires are secretly meeting in Antarctica's wasteland is a tantalizing mystery that raises more questions than answers. Whether these meetings are related to advanced scientific research, strategic geopolitical interests, preparations for a global catastrophe, the exploration of ancient secrets, or even extraterrestrial activity. The possibilities are as vast and enigmatic as the continent itself. What is clear is that Antarctica continues to captivate the imagination of people around the world. Its remote and untouched landscape, combined with the mysteries that it holds, make it a place of endless intrigue and speculation. As we continue to learn more about this frozen frontier, we may one day uncover the truth behind the billionaire meetings and the secrets that they may be seeking to unlock. Unveiling the Secrets – The Role of Technology and Innovation To further understand why billionaires might be meeting in Antarctica, we must consider the role of technology and innovation. Antarctica's extreme conditions and isolation present unique challenges that can only be overcome with cutting-edge technology. The need for such technology could explain why these meetings are taking place in such a remote and inhospitable environment. Advanced Climate Research and Technological Innovation Antarctica is a natural laboratory for studying extreme climates, which can provide critical insights for developing technologies to combat climate change. With global temperatures rising and climate patterns shifting, understanding the past climate of Antarctica can offer valuable data. This data is crucial for predicting future climate trends and developing strategies to mitigate climate impacts. Billionaires interested in climate technology might be investing in research stations or innovation hubs in Antarctica. By funding advanced climate models and experiments in such a pristine environment, they could gain access to exclusive scientific data and technology. This investment not only aids in understanding climate change, but could also position these individuals at the forefront of climate solutions and environmental sustainability. Space Exploration and Off-World Technology Antarctica's similarities to Mars in terms of its harsh cold environment make it an ideal location for testing space technologies. For billionaires with interests in space exploration such as Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, Antarctica provides a unique opportunity to test equipment and technologies in conditions analogous to those on Mars. Research facilities in Antarctica can simulate Martian conditions, helping scientists and engineers develop and refine technologies for space missions. These include life support systems, habitat construction, and resource utilization. By meeting in Antarctica, billionaires might be coordinating efforts to advance these technologies, ensuring that their space exploration ventures are successful. Renewable Energy and Self-Sustaining Technologies Given the remote and self-sufficient nature of Antarctic research stations, they are prime candidates for testing renewable energy solutions. The extreme environment requires innovative energy solutions, such as advanced solar power systems, wind turbines, and energy storage technologies. Billionaires investing in renewable energy might view Antarctica as a testing ground for their technologies. Developing efficient and reliable energy systems in such a challenging environment could lead to breakthroughs that can be applied in other parts of the world. This not only serves the purpose of technological advancement, but also aligns with global sustainability goals. Geopolitical Implications and Global Power Dynamics 
The geopolitical implications of the secret meetings in Antarctica extend beyond mere resource acquisition. The continent's strategic importance in global power dynamics cannot be overstated. Control over Antarctic resources and research could potentially shift the balance of power on the global stage. The Antarctic Treaty and its Future The Antarctic Treaty System, established in 1959, was designed to promote international cooperation and prevent territorial disputes. However, the treaty's framework is not static and there have been ongoing discussions about its future. As the global demand for resources increases, some countries and private entities may seek to revise the treaty to allow for resource extraction and economic exploitation. Billionaires with significant investments in resource extraction or technology might be positioning themselves to influence these discussions. By meeting in Antarctica, they could be coordinating strategies to ensure their interests are considered in any future changes to the treaty. Geostrategic Interests and Military Considerations While the Antarctic Treaty prohibits military activity, there are concerns that this might not always be the case. The strategic location of Antarctica, with its vast and unclaimed territories, could become a point of interest in future geopolitical conflicts. Billionaires with ties to government and military sectors might be involved in these secret meetings to discuss potential future scenarios where military or strategic interests come into play. Even if the treaty remains unchanged, the presence of military technology or personnel in Antarctica could become a factor in future geopolitical calculations. Preparing for a Global Crisis the reality of doomsday planning. The theory that billionaires are preparing for a global crisis by meeting in Antarctica taps into broader concerns about existential risks, whether driven by fears of climate change, pandemics, or other global threats. This theory reflects a growing awareness among the elite of the need for contingency plans. Building Resilient Infrastructure Antarctica's extreme conditions offer a unique environment for testing and building resilient infrastructure. Underground bunkers, self-sustaining habitats, and advanced medical facilities could all be part of the preparation for potential global disasters. Billionaires might be investing in these types of infrastructure to ensure that they and their families are well protected in the event of a catastrophic event. Research and Development of Survival Technologies In addition to physical infrastructure, preparing for a global crisis involves the development of survival technologies. This includes advances in food production, water purification, and energy generation. By meeting in Antarctica, billionaires could be funding and developing these technologies in a real-world environment, ensuring their effectiveness in extreme conditions. The Mystery of Ancient Civilizations Fact or Fiction The theory that Antarctica hides remnants of ancient civilizations adds a fascinating layer to the mystery of why billionaires are meeting there. The idea of lost civilizations has captured the imagination of many, and Antarctica's isolation makes it a plausible candidate for such theories. Evidence of Ancient Civilization Theories Researchers like Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson have proposed that ancient civilizations existed long before recorded history and were destroyed by cataclysmic events. According to these theories, Antarctica, which was once free of ice, might have been home to such a civilization. The discovery of ancient maps, mysterious structures, or unusual geological formations in Antarctica could be fueling interest among billionaires. If credible evidence of an ancient civilization were to be uncovered, it could have profound implications for our understanding of human history and prehistory. The Role of Archaeology and Exploration Billionaires might be funding or participating in archaeological expeditions to Antarctica to search for evidence of ancient civilizations. These expeditions could involve advanced technologies such as ground-penetrating radar and satellite imaging to uncover hidden structures or artifacts beneath the ice. The potential discovery of ancient artifacts or structures could revolutionize our understanding of history and lead to significant advancements in archaeology and related fields. The allure of uncovering lost knowledge and technology might be a driving factor behind these secretive meetings in Antarctica. 
extraterrestrial theories. The ultimate mystery. The theory that Antarctica is a hotspot for extraterrestrial activity is among the most intriguing and speculative. The idea that aliens might have a presence on Earth, particularly in such a remote and inaccessible location, adds an element of science fiction to the mystery of billionaire meetings in Antarctica. UFO Sightings and Alien Bases Reports of UFO sightings and alien bases in Antarctica have been circulating for years. Some claim that extraterrestrial beings have established bases on the continent or that alien technology has been discovered in the ice. While these claims are often dismissed by mainstream science, they continue to capture public imagination. Billionaires with an interest in space and advanced technology might be involved in investigations or secret projects related to extraterrestrial phenomena. Whether these projects involve the search for alien technology, attempts to make contact with extraterrestrial beings, or studying mysterious artifacts, they represent a significant area of interest. The Influence of Science Fiction and Popular Culture The influence of science fiction and popular culture cannot be ignored when discussing extraterrestrial theories. Films, books, and TV shows often explore themes of alien contact, hidden bases, and advanced technology. These fictional portrayals can shape public perception and contribute to the allure of extraterrestrial theories. Billionaires who are fascinated by these themes might be inspired to explore the possibility of extraterrestrial connections in Antarctica. Whether driven by curiosity or a genuine belief in the existence of aliens, their involvement in such projects reflects the blending of fiction and reality in the search for answers. The mystery of why billionaires are meeting in Antarctica is a multifaceted puzzle that encompasses a range of theories and possibilities. From advanced scientific research and technological innovation to geopolitical interests and preparations for global crises, the reasons for these secretive gatherings are complex and varied. Antarctica's extreme environment and isolation make it a unique setting for these meetings. The continent's pristine conditions offer opportunities for groundbreaking research. While its remote location provides a level of secrecy and security that is unparalleled, whether these meetings are driven by a desire to uncover ancient secrets, prepare for potential global disasters, explore extraterrestrial phenomena, or advance scientific and technological frontiers, the allure of Antarctica remains undeniable. The continent's mysteries continue to captivate the imagination of people around the world, fueling speculation and intrigue. As we seek to understand the true nature of these secretive gatherings, it is essential to consider the broader context of Antarctica's significance. The continent's role in scientific research, technological development, and global geopolitics reflects its importance as a key player in shaping the future of humanity. In the end, the mystery of why billionaires are secretly meeting in Antarctica is a reflection of our collective curiosity and desire to uncover the unknown. As we continue to explore and learn more about this enigmatic continent, we may one day unravel the secrets that have drawn the world's elite to its icy shores. Until then, Antarctica remains a land of intrigue and possibility, where the boundaries between fact and fiction, science and speculation are ever shifting. As we continue to unravel the mystery of why billionaires are secretly meeting in Antarctica, it's essential to explore the geopolitical and economic landscape that shapes these gatherings. Understanding the broader context of international relations, economic interests, and resource management provides a clearer picture of what might be driving these clandestine meetings. The Geopolitical Stakes in Antarctica Antarctica is unique in the world of geopolitics due to its status under the Antarctic Treaty System. This treaty, which was established in 1959 and came into force in 1961, was designed to prevent territorial claims and promote international scientific cooperation. However, as global interests and geopolitical dynamics evolve, the future of this treaty could come into question. Emerging Global Powers As new global powers emerge and existing ones expand their influence, Antarctica becomes a strategic interest. Countries like China and Russia have increased their presence and investment in Antarctic research and infrastructure. 
China's growing interest in the continent, particularly its investment in research stations and its involvement in climate research, reflects its broader strategic goals. China's Antarctic ambitions include securing access to resources, enhancing its scientific capabilities, and asserting its influence in international affairs. Similarly, Russia, with its historical interest in polar exploration and its substantial icebreaker fleet, maintains a significant presence in the region. Billionaires with global interests might be aligning themselves with these emerging powers or preparing to navigate potential geopolitical shifts. Meetings in Antarctica could be a way to strategize and collaborate on policies that influence the future of the continent and its resources. Territorial claims and resource exploitation. Although the Antarctic Treaty prohibits new territorial claims, there are ongoing discussions about resource exploitation. The continent is rich in minerals, oil, and natural gas, but commercial extraction is currently banned under the Protocol on Environmental Protection to the Antarctic Treaty, the Madrid Protocol, which came into effect in 1998. As global demand for resources increases and new technologies make extraction more feasible, there is growing pressure to reconsider these restrictions. Billionaires with investments in resource extraction or energy might be exploring opportunities to influence policy changes or prepare for future resource exploitation. Secret meetings in Antarctica could involve discussions about potential changes to the treaty, lobbying efforts, or strategic positioning to capitalize on future opportunities. The presence of billionaires with significant resources and influence suggests that they are preparing for scenarios where access to these resources becomes a reality. Economic Interests and Investment Opportunities Antarctica's economic potential extends beyond natural resources. The continent's unique environment offers various investment opportunities, from tourism and research to infrastructure development. Tourism and Luxury Ventures Despite its remote location, Antarctica has become an increasingly popular destination for high-end tourism. Luxury cruises and guided expeditions offer exclusive experiences to the world's elite. Billionaires might be investing in or collaborating on tourism ventures that cater to affluent travelers seeking unique and extraordinary experiences. Such investments might include developing sustainable tourism practices, creating luxury accommodations, or establishing high-end research facilities that double as tourist attractions. Meetings in Antarctica could be part of planning and coordinating these ventures, ensuring that they align with both environmental and business goals. Research and Development Hubs The continent's status as a center for scientific research also presents economic opportunities. High-tech research facilities and innovation hubs in Antarctica could attract investment from billionaires interested in cutting-edge science and technology. These facilities might focus on a range of topics, including climate science, space technology, and renewable energy. By investing in and supporting these research initiatives, billionaires can drive technological advancements, gain access to exclusive data, and position themselves as leaders in these fields. Environmental and Ethical Considerations as we delve into the motivations behind billionaire meetings in Antarctica, it's crucial to consider the environmental and ethical implications of their activities. The continent's fragile ecosystem demands careful management and respect, and the actions of those who invest in and explore Antarctica must be scrutinized for their impact. Environmental Protection and Sustainability The Antarctic environment is one of the most pristine and sensitive on the planet. Activities that disturb the natural balance, such as resource extraction, tourism, or infrastructure development, pose risks to the continent's delicate ecosystems. Billionaires and their projects in Antarctica must adhere to stringent environmental regulations to prevent harm to wildlife, preserve natural habitats, and mitigate pollution. The Antarctic Treaty System and associated protocols provide a framework for environmental protection but ongoing vigilance is necessary to ensure compliance and address any emerging threats, ethical considerations, and global equity. The involvement of billionaires in Antarctica raises questions about global equity and access to resources. The continent's resources and scientific discoveries should benefit all of humanity, 
not just a select few with the financial means to access them. Ethical considerations include ensuring that research and development activities are conducted transparently and that their benefits are shared equitably. The influence of billionaires should not undermine the principles of international cooperation and collective benefit that underpin the Antarctic Treaty System. Uncovering Hidden Agendas What are the billionaires really after? To fully understand the secrecy and intrigue surrounding billionaire meetings in Antarctica, we need to explore potential hidden agendas and motivations that go beyond the surface. While some of these meetings might focus on legitimate scientific and economic interests, others could involve more speculative or controversial pursuits. The Pursuit of Knowledge and Power For some billionaires, the pursuit of knowledge and power may be a primary motivation. Antarctica's unexplored regions and mysterious features offer a tantalizing opportunity to uncover secrets that could have significant implications. Access to classified or sensitive information Billionaires with ties to government or military sectors might be seeking access to classified or sensitive information related to Antarctica. This could include details about undisclosed research, technological developments, or strategic plans. Secret meetings might involve discussions about acquiring or controlling this information, which could provide a competitive edge or influence over global affairs. The desire for exclusive knowledge and the power that comes with it could drive these meetings and shape their outcomes. Influence over global narratives and trends. Billionaires often shape public narratives and trends through their investments, media presence, and philanthropic activities. By engaging in secret meetings in Antarctica, they might be positioning themselves to influence global narratives related to climate change, resource management, or scientific discoveries. These meetings could be part of a broader strategy to control how information is presented and to steer public opinion in ways that align with their interests. The influence over global narratives can have far-reaching effects on policy, investment, and societal attitudes. The quest for immortality and transhumanism. Another speculative but intriguing possibility is that some billionaires are driven by the quest for immortality or transhumanism. The extreme environment of Antarctica and the advanced technologies being developed there might be linked to these futuristic goals. Research into life extension and anti-aging. Billionaires with an interest in extending human life or achieving immortality might be investing in research related to life extension and anti-aging. Antarctica's unique environment could provide a setting for experiments and developments in these areas. Research on cryopreservation, regenerative medicine, and other life extension technologies could be conducted in Antarctica, where isolation and controlled conditions facilitate groundbreaking work. Meetings in the continent might focus on coordinating efforts and sharing advancements in these fields. Exploring transhumanist technologies. Transhumanism involves using technology to enhance human capabilities and achieve a post-human condition. Billionaires interested in this field might view Antarctica as a testing ground for transhumanist technologies. These could include developments in artificial intelligence, brain-computer interfaces, or other innovations aimed at transcending human limitations. Secret meetings might involve discussions about the integration of these technologies into future projects or the creation of experimental facilities. The Global Ocean, a significant saltwater body, covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. The Great Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic oceans, however, are the four primary oceans that scientists have categorically separated the body of water into. Recently, a fifth was added. National Geographic acknowledged the fifth ocean on June 8, 2021, known as the Southern Ocean, which encircles Antarctica. Scientists still don't know how many marine species there are in the oceans. There are currently about 226,000 recognized ocean species. Many ocean species, according to some, are in decline because of the harm that marine ecosystems are taking from pollution, warming seas, and other problems. Despite this, scientists continue to uncover new living species, and it is thought that between a few hundred thousand and a few million more have yet to be identified. Even more, we have even managed to discover some of their enigmatic undersea structures, 
including the Bermuda Triangle and the Mariana Trench, the Earth's deepest location at seven miles. Additionally, let's not forget the finding of entire drowned towns, such as the 5000-year-old Greek city of Palvapetri, which may have been buried around 1000 BC. Even better, oceans have become a fantastic source of knowledge on the development of the animal kingdom over the past few decades. Ocean exploration has shown that life on Earth has altered significantly since it first started evolving, from the largest shark to ever exist, the prehistoric megalodon, through the contemporary tube worms of the harsh, deep sea environment. The Arctic is surrounded by and flows beneath the Arctic Ocean, which is the northernmost body of water on Earth. Despite being the smallest ocean in the world, with a surface area of roughly 5.4 million square miles, it nevertheless makes up 4% of the surface of the planet and is 1.5 times bigger than the United States. The Arctic Ocean is the shallowest and least salty of the five ocean basins, with an average depth of 3,953 feet and a maximum depth of 18,264 feet. This is mostly because of the area's low rate of evaporation and significant inflow of freshwater from glaciers and rivers. The Arctic Ocean has a thriving marine ecology because of the interaction of river mouths, calving glaciers, and continually churning ocean currents. Even though the Arctic Ocean is mostly covered in ice throughout the year, climate change is having a big impact on it. The extent and thickness of the Arctic sea ice have been decreasing as global temperatures have been rising. In addition to raising concerns about the effects on the environment and potential geopolitical tensions, this has sparked interest in prospective economic prospects, including new shipping routes and access to unexplored natural resources. Phytoplankton, which is the base of the food web, sustains the Arctic marine ecology despite the extreme conditions. Under the ice, these tiny plants develop and photosynthesize, turning light and nutrients into organic chemicals. The length of the phytoplankton bloom period is determined by the sunshine and nutrient availability, both of which are subject to seasonal changes and ice cover. Giant sponges that were growing on the tops of long-extinct underwater volcanoes were discovered two years ago, deep beneath the perpetually ice-covered Arctic Ocean. The fossilized bones of prehistoric animals are what these Arctic sponges of the order Geodea eat in order to survive the nutrient-poor circumstances, researchers have discovered. This is a unique ecosystem, says Ancha Buetius, a marine biologist at the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology and the Alfred Wegener Institute in Germany. He's sinking out of the sunlit zone, and so you're, you're sinking through all blue colors or colors. We have never seen anything like it before in the high central Arctic. Boetius served as the chief scientist of the Polar Stern Icebreaker Research Vessel in 2016, which also just made the massive Antarctic ice fish nest discovery. On the Arctic expedition, they towed camera equipment to explore the seafloor at Langseth Ridge, an underwater mountain range with depths between 700 and 1,000 meters, not far from the North Pole. Their photos showed incredibly rich and densely populated underwater habitats on top of extinct volcanoes. This discovery was fascinating. Scientists previously understood that sponges are common and successful in oceans all across the world, from shallow tropical reefs to icy Antarctic waters. They typically feed by filtering food from the surrounding seawater, allowing them to consume nutrient-rich particles. But it's challenging to live in the Arctic Ocean due to the fact that this area of the ocean has been covered in ice for many years, there isn't much food that drifts from the surface to the depths where these geodia sponges thrive. So how do the sponges live? To determine the age and feeding habits of the sponges, Teresa Morganti, a sponge expert from the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology and a co-author of the study, examined photographs and sponge tissue samples. It turns out that the sponges have robust bacterial populations inside of them and have been around for 300 years on average. According to Morganti's explanation, our analysis showed that the sponges have microbial symbionts that can use old organic matter, 
This enables them to feed on the remains of once present but now extinct inhabitants of the seamounts, such as the protein and chitin-rich worm tubes and other debris that has been trapped. Many different types of sponges are home to a population of microbes that can transport nutrients from the surrounding water to the sponges, dispose of excretions, and create antibiotics to keep the sponges healthy. According to research by Morganti and colleagues, these arctic sponges can consume organic substances trapped in the mat on which they live, instead of consuming seawater as their primary source of nutrition. The biosphere from long ago is still present in this mat. Gases from volcanic systems beneath the seafloor sustained a considerably richer environment, which was home to a variety of species thousands of years ago. Since then, a lot of stuff has vanished, leaving these surprising sponge gardens. By employing enzymes to break down the fossilized remains of the vanished ecosystem and transfer nutrients to their sponge host, the microbes on the sponges may effectively utilize the fossilized remains, according to microbial study. The toolkit the bacteria have is ideal for this environment. The refractory particulate and dissolved organic materials can be used by the bacteria as a source of carbon and nitrogen, as well as a variety of chemical energy sources. According to Elon Musk and other scientists, this kind of research is essential as the climate changes and the Arctic sea ice rapidly decreases. For the purpose of preserving and managing the distinctive diversity of these under-pressure Arctic seas, a deeper understanding of hotspot ecosystems is needed. On the other hand, researchers supported by NASA have discovered an enormous algal bloom that is thriving beneath the thick ice of the Arctic, fundamentally changing our knowledge of the region's ecosystems. Think about coming into a rainforest in the middle of a desert. That is how the new biological finding in the Arctic Ocean is being compared by NASA scientists. Under the diminishing Arctic ice, little plants called phytoplankton are actively growing. In fact, according to the researchers, the Arctic may currently have a greater phytoplankton growth than any other ocean location on the planet. The discovery exposes a brand new impact of the Arctic's warming temperature and provides researchers with a critical understanding of how climate change and environmental changes affect the Arctic Ocean and its ecology. To investigate how environmental variability and change in the Arctic affect ocean biology, ecology, and biogeochemistry, researchers bore through three feet of sea ice. The scientists discovered that the phytoplankton were very active, multiplying more than once daily. Blooms in open waters, on the other hand, develop much more slowly, doubling in size after two to three days. These growth rates are among the highest polar water measurements yet made. In the Arctic Ocean, phytoplankton was considered to only begin to bloom after the summer sea ice retreat. From the edge of the sea ice to 72 miles inside the ice pack, the researchers saw blooms under the ice. Ocean current data showed that these blooms did not travel from the open ocean, where phytoplankton concentrations can be high, but rather grew under the ice. It was once believed that sea ice prevented the majority of sunlight required for phytoplankton growth. Scientists now believe that the Arctic ice is receding, allowing sunshine to penetrate the waters beneath the sea ice, causing plant blooms where none previously existed. The base of the marine food chain is phytoplankton, which also absorbs a lot of carbon dioxide. If the under ice blooms turn out to be frequent, scientists will need to reevaluate the amount of carbon dioxide released by biological activity into the Arctic Ocean. Whether these abundant phytoplankton blooms have been occurring in the Arctic for a long time, and we haven't noticed them yet, is unknown at this moment. But if the Arctic sea ice cover keeps thinning, these blooms might extend farther in the future. The finding of these hitherto unidentified under ice blooms has repercussions for the larger Arctic ecosystem, which includes migratory animals like whales and birds. Small ocean animals consume phytoplankton, which is then consumed by larger fish and ocean creatures. Larger animals that consume phytoplankton or the species that eat these microorganisms may be adversely affected by a shift in the timing of the blooms. It can become more challenging for migratory species to plan their life cycles such that they are in the Arctic during the peak of the bloom. They might be missing the boat if their food supply arrives earlier. The discovery, according to the researchers, may also have significant effects on the global carbon cycle 
and the energy balance of the oceans, and they may need to alter their theories about the ecology of the Arctic and its place in the Earth system. Furthermore, scientists are now worried about the effects of plastic pollution on human health and marine life after discovering a record amount of plastic trapped in Arctic sea ice. In core samples taken from five regions on travels to the Arctic Ocean, up to 12,000 bits of microplastic particles were discovered per liter of sea ice, up to three times greater than levels in prior research. In every sample they collected in 2014 and 2015, scientists from the Alfred Wegener Institute's Helmholtz Center for Polar and Marine Research, AWI, discovered shards of packaging, paints, nylon, polyester, and cellulose acetate, which is frequently used to make cigarette filters. The discoveries coincide with growing worry about the extent of plastic pollution, which experts have warned might lead to the planet's near-permanent contamination. The Arctic is a significant global sink for plastic pollution and is several times more concentrated than the well-known vast Pacific garbage patch, according to a previous study. It is believed that at least one trillion pieces of plastic have been frozen into the Arctic ice during the past decades. But according to Dr. Gunnar Gertz, whose laboratory conducted the measurements, his research revealed that the issue was significantly worse because some of the particles were only 11 micrometers in size. That's roughly one-sixth the diameter of a human hair, and also explains why we found concentrations of more than 12,000 particles per liter of sea ice, which is two to three times higher than what we'd found in past measurements. In addition to discovering a record amount of plastic, the study was able to pinpoint its possible origins, which ranged from fishing gear that had deteriorated to plastic pollution that had flown thousands of kilometers on ocean currents. The high levels of microplastic in the sea ice cannot exclusively be linked to sources outside the Arctic Ocean, according to Dr. Ilka Pekin, one of the study's authors. Instead, they highlight regional smog in the Arctic. The experts cautioned that it was uncertain what effects this level of plastic pollution might have on human health and marine life. With an estimated 5 trillion pieces of plastic floating in the world's oceans, marine plastic pollution is a major issue. Fish and birds frequently mistake the plastic for food, harming marine life and getting into the human food chain. In one place, where the vast garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean is considered to have originated, the new investigation discovered record levels of polyethylene. In another, it discovered large concentrations of nylon and paint particles, which suggested increasing shipping and fishing. The study also discovered that a substantial mechanism for moving plastic particles around the region has developed as a result of the amount of plastic that is currently held in Arctic sea ice, which moves and melts. It implies that microplastics are currently pervasive in the ocean's surface waters, no place is safe. On the other hand, Antarctica has caught our attention for many years. From the intrepid scientists of today to the famous first explorers of the 1800s, we have been enthralled by the treasures hidden within Antarctica's frozen plains. Antarctica is cloaked in mystery as the last untouched wilderness on Earth and is excellent at retaining its secrets because it is a place of extremes. Antarctica is uninhabitable for people due to the harsh weather, sub-freezing temperatures, and desolate terrain. The ice-covered continent, which makes up 90% of the ice on Earth, is nearly 1.5 times the size of the United States and is entirely covered in ice. In spite of this, researchers have continued to explore the Great White Continent, unraveling its most intriguing mysteries. Even though it's hard to picture anything beneath Antarctica's huge glaciers, researchers have found a number of subsurface lakes. There are thought to be 400 lakes buried beneath three kilometers of ice in the locations that were studied, which radars first discovered in 1970. The lakes, according to scientists, are the result of Antarctica's breakup from the once supercontinent Gondwana land. The pressure from the ice sheet's weight prevents the lakes from freezing. The largest subglacial lake in Antarctica is Lake Vostok, which Russian scientists first learned about in the 1990s. Located 3.5 kilometers beneath the ice, it is also the third largest lake in the world in terms of volume. Even though the lake was covered by ice more than 20 million years ago, 
scientists have subsequently bored deep holes into the ice to extract samples of the water. One sample revealed the temperature to be about minus 3 degrees Celsius. In addition, at Lake Willens, about a kilometer beneath the ice sheet, researchers made a significant discovery in 2014 that changed the course of science. These amazing creatures thrive despite not having access to sunshine or clean air for millions of years. Instead, they use the energy provided by methane and ammonia to grow. There are germs, crabs, enormous squid, long, lanky spiders the size of dinner plates, and huge, golden-bristled, sharp-jawed worms. There are even transparent ice fish. These bizarre beings have huge eyes and translucent skin that reveal their interior organs. The fish cannot survive in warmer waters because they have antifreeze glycoproteins. Additionally, they lack hemoglobin, a substance that gives our blood its red color. There are also a ton of Cretaceous-era dinosaur, avian, and marine mammal fossils that have been discovered by scientists. Among the smaller species, they found microscopic single-celled fossils that have sparked intense dispute among experts as well as the fossilized forewings of a species of beetle that existed between 14 and 20 million years ago in a warmer climate. In the egg case of a long extinct species of worm, they also discovered sperm cells that were 50 million years old, an astounding discovery that researchers think will reveal new details about evolution. Unexpectedly, a sizable piece of ice in Antarctica was found to be singing. The Ross Ice Shelf is Antarctica's biggest ice shelf, it spans an area of more than 500,000 square kilometers, roughly the size of France, and is several hundred meters thick. Recent research has revealed that the Ross Ice Shelf sings a sinister tune as a result of winds moving across the snow dunes. Surface tremors and practically constant seismic tones are produced by the winds. Scientists employ seismic sensors to hear the somber melody because the vibrations aren't detectable to human ears. After seismic sensors were deployed on the ice shelf to monitor other behaviors, the song was unintentionally discovered. Since then, researchers have shown that the song varies in reaction to environmental factors like snowstorms or melting. They are currently studying the ice shelf's stability and susceptibility to collapse through seismic humming, utilizing the song as a tool to monitor it in real time. Where no one has gone before, deep below Antarctica's surface, mystery still abounds. The Great White Continent is the most puzzling and mysterious region on the planet, and despite the tireless efforts of researchers everywhere, we may never fully understand all of its mysteries.